as Mario's round slowly disintegrates. You see it on his see it on his face. I'm sure the score will be displayed. There we go. This is where we, yeah, we're putting the score on. Hole by hole. Listen, man, you gotta take you gotta take your lumps. Uh, we are not playing good golf, by the way. I'm just glad you know, I'm I'm being thoughtful here. It is 105 degrees outside. It is. And I'm providing snowmen to that's cool true. us off. Yeah, that's right. That's a that's a good point. Next question uh, was, uh, if Tom Brady came to your house to use the bathroom, would you let him in? My response, that was from Nomo Screen. Uh, my response was, uh, Tom Brady could pee uh, in his Ugg boots in my driveway because he's not coming in my house. Tom Brady's not coming in my Giselle house. Giselle with him? This matters. and ride with us on YouTube and don't forget to check out live play-by-play -play of the Bills season coming up on Sportscaster. So uh, we are at the Diamond Hawk Golf Course. Yes. Uh, squeezing in nine holes. Those of you who've never been to Diamond Hawk, it's over by the uh, Buffalo Niagara Airport. Mm -hmm. Fun place, nice course. It's um, awesome. And uh, electric carts because we can't do this show uh, filming while we're driving in gas-powered carts. Looks like Carl Spackler. Really story. He's got about 395 yards. You can use a seven iron. All right, so uh, let's chat a little bit about position battles at uh, training camp. So um, this was a question brought in. I'll look it up. Mario put it on the bottom of the screen. It's 100 degrees outside. I'm starting to get heat so stroke. Hot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hot. Um, camp so, battles. Yeah, I'm. I'm I, should the obvious one be the old line? I mean. I'm very interested to see how the guard rotation comes out. Who comes oh, out yeah. first, second? That's going to be probably one of the most talked about things that are going on is the camp. Who's starting? Who's mm -hmm. rotating in? What's going on? Yeah. Expect that front five, the first five, to get in there as fast as possible. I believe it, dude. I, I don't it. doubt that, dude, because, uh, you know, last offseason, McDermott kept talking about 10,000 reps, right? That's what he wanted. He wanted 10,000 reps, 10,000 reps, 10,000 reps. And if you're playing, you know, if you're playing the Cupid Shuffle with your O-line, Right, you're, you're you're sacrificing reps, and that's what we saw at the quarterback position last year. Right, it was three guys just stealing reps from each other, and you don't want that. You just can't have that from your own no, line. So, no. especially when the guy that was taking a lot of majority of the first team reps, you ended up getting rid of after the Bears game. Well, let me ask this: So, do you think that a new O line coach is going to make the team more decisive? It depends if, that, if that's their mindset going into camp. It's like, hey, listen, you got to you got to set these front five up right away okay all right and then there might be a little sleight of hand a little bit of psychology with like uh with some of the guys like uh, quentin span yeah you expect him to start because he's, okay. he's that good you may put him on the second team right maybe he's a little motivation sure you know maybe he made that thing maybe waddle gets put on the second or third team for a little motivation for him but I, I'm, I'm interested that's why the battle's so interesting to me because i'm mm -hmm. interested to see will a guy from who's taken third team reps emerge as a starter okay and yeah. that's possible. That's the way McDermott likes to cut it. You, yeah. you have to earn your spot. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. The wide receiver position is the one that's curious to me, although the cornerback position is really the most curious. Because we talked about the CB battles before, but you have an incumbent EJ Gaines. I call him an incumbent because he is, he, right? He's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. So uh, really excited to see what EJ Gaines brings uh, back to the table because Gaines, the, the Bills won a lot of games that Gaines played. When he was on the field, they won those football games yeah. during the playoff run. So, so do you think that the wide receiver position being so new and the cornerback position being so used to what's going on, they'll have the advantage early in camp? Um, I don't know, man. That's the thing. When you're totally remaking your offense, who really has an advantage? Right? Dable's going to go back to the drawing board completely with the system. I think what we saw last year was just a little bit of keeping the offense on life support. Right? Unfortunately, that's what it was. I mean, you were just you were mixing and matching what you could do, and it's got to be life support. I'm interested. What do you guys think? What, what battles are you guys looking forward to seeing in camp? Yep. Okay. Oh, nine iron. We are 200 yards away. Mario is convinced that he can hit a nine iron into the wind. Just to prove. Come yeah, ahead. most certainly into the wind. This is not going to go well. Go ahead. They're on the green. Trust me, they're safe. I may pull it. That's why I don't want to. You're going to pull something, all right. Got I everyone watching. Just yeah, me. that's true. Those loafers are golf spikes. Don't worry about it. Unrelated. 
made it matter. Let's see how this goes. That's a lot of air. Alright, well let's see where that ended up. <laughs> Whatever. You're kidding me. Oh, are you serious? How come you can't hit a 9 iron off the tee? You should. You should. You have to admit, at some point... It was impressive. It was impressive. Two, 202, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uphill line. Yeah. Into the wind. It was nine impressive. Iron. Yeah, it was impressive. Yeah, I can't hit anything else. 398, I should I use a 5 iron? Yeah. <laughs> Got a putter. Rapid fire. Uh, what do you think of Baldi's piece on Edmonds? That's from Matt Gronkowski. Um, Came so out months after Predator. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> when people are going to break down Tremaine Edmonds, it's always important to remember that this is his second year playing that position. Right? I feel like that gets lost in the conversation. Everybody talks about, oh, well, Edmonds is going to take a huge now. step. Right, he's going to take a huge step forward, huge step forward. I mean, the guy just got guy just turned legal drinking age, like, and he's never played middle linebacker before. Nope. It's a totally different responsibility. So, you just break down what that difference in responsibility would be if you would, like from a middle to us because he was playing Sam, right? He was playing Sam. He was oh playing yeah, Sam. yeah. You get the you get the full scope of the field. You're caught in the mesh a little bit more. With Sam, you're you're all on an island. You, gotta, you probably have to cover a little bit more. If yeah. you're a, if you're a Mike linebacker or the Mac or however many different names they call them all the time. Um, your responsibilities are quarterback in the entire defense. Mm -hmm. So, number one, you got to be a leader. Number two, you have to be able to know where everyone's position is. Because sometimes, if you're a Sam or a Will or stuff, do you have to know a few positions? Yeah, you got to know. Yeah, Mike needs to know everything. Yeah, and and the concepts that are asking Edmonds to do are not really simple concepts. Mm -hmm. um, you start talking about the cover, uh, the Tampa two. Uh, you know, when they go to nickel. He, he then moves into a position that he's familiar with, and they go to nickel because he's on the outside, mm -hmm. um, or he can move to the outside. So that all encompassing in, the kid's taking it pretty well. I mean, the guy had 120 tackles mm -hmm. this season. That's amazing, uh, and he's only 21 years old. So right. He is, by all accounts, a beast. Yeah. He is a beast. Right. Falls on the hunt for golf balls. No idea why. I'm golfing an 85 year old. You guys want to see what the feet looks like? Yeah, just chipped in for par. That's right, chipped in. But, not just chipped in. This is this end. This is how much of a he is. He goes, wow. Dude, I got a 60 degree wedge downhill and it's fluffed up. What am I gonna do? So you're talking about dueling, dueling stadiums? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Tom Galati had mentioned, you know, uh, what if the Cabooers were to build a stadium that fits both the Bills and the Sabres? I mean, they own both. On paper, that. That, it looks, not, it it looks nice. nice, right? But I mean, you're talking about two very different capacities. Yes. Um, so I guess that kind of brings up the question of one, is it even feasible to build a multi use stadium? Um, and two, you know, where would it be, right? So my, my first counter to that is if you want to kill the Sabres, you go ahead and build the, go ahead and build the arena in Orchard Park and it'll kill the Sabres. So it will. It'll kill the Sabres. Sabres. Yeah. No, I mean, the, you bring up a good point. It would effectively kill the Sabres. Oh, yeah. A lot of the tenants, it's not NFL attendance. Right. Number, one. number two is that the, 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 the seasons overlap. I mean, Sabres are playing games when, I mean, October and November for the Bills. Like, what are you going to do on the weekends? Yeah, it's, I think, I think the, uh oh. Man down! Yeah, it's, I mean, a dual-use facility sounds good, but you're right. I, I mean, I'm sure the NFL, the NHL could cater to the no games on Saturdays and Sundays, but then that means moving the Bill Stadium to downtown. And I, I don't know too many people that are signing up for that. You? Are you signing up for that? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. 
sir. Please replace your divots. No, if they don't want to replace your divots, don't replace them. See, if you'd have hit the little ball before the big ball, that wouldn't have happened. Oh my god. We observed Paul 288 from the hole. They did his second shot off the ladies' team. Not good. All right, X that killer X, X Matt X. X. Yeah, going to give it to you. <laughs> I All understand right. why you're failing math now, son. <laughs> yeah. That was that yeah. funny. We can put that on the screen. I'll put the meme. Oh, okay, meme All right, amazing. Uh, so, is there? Uh, let me see. Bean and McDermott have changed almost the whole offense and added the defense. Added the defense. If you were Bean, what is the one more position you would add slash change on this roster? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll I'll do both. Okay. If I was going to add a position, I would add another tight end. Unless okay. they're happy with the, the progress that Knox, yeah. Sweeney, and them guys will make. I mean, because you lose your tight end, the first guy you sign in the offseason, one of the first guys you sign in the offseason, that's yep. huge. Uh, what I would change is that I don't think you need a fullback anymore. Yeah. DeMarco is a captain. He plays a lot of special teams. I understand right. that. However, that position is not is no more. Right. Like, it's no more. You can get a younger guy in there. That costs about six hundred fifty thousand. You don't need to pay Demarco two million. Well, and I mean, but if they cut him, it's a wash. Yeah, but wouldn't saying. wouldn't you just use Gore in the Demarco role? He won't play it. It's, it's why you're wondering. You're gonna be in a two-back If you want a veteran that a guy, guys look up to, and you're gonna push, put him on special teams after he's not played special teams in his career. Yeah, but putting... almost seems like a demotion. No, right? no, no. I'm talking no? about putting Gore in fullback sets on the offense. I'm not talking about making him play special teams. I'm talking about putting oh, him in two back sets as a I lead mean, back. I mean, you could. You put Gore back there with Singletary and kind of guide. Any combination of... That's what I'm saying is you, any combination of those guys mm -hmm. would work. Yeah. I don't know how, how good is a... You know Gore could pick up a blitz. Yeah, right. So in that respect, you're saying that... Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because Gore, I think, is your immediate third down, third down back. Right for right now, I think you know you look at it Yeldon? saying, I mean Yeldon, I suppose, but I don't know how good Yeldon can pick up a blitz. He went to Alabama, and then went to Jacksonville. <laughs> so, talk to me about TJ Yeldon. That's why up they got. Blitz. That's why they got rid of him. Yeah, right. Fournette's from LSU and Alabama. They're fighting <laughs> in the meeting rooms. I look at it, if if there was one position that I had to address. Um, I mean, yeah, tight end makes the most sense. Um, I'm still just so curious about all these defensive ends. I just don't know what's there. That's a great point. I don't know what's That's there. That's a great point. They're going to have a lot of outside linebackers. Hey, there. Eli Harold is there. There's, That's so there's intriguing a bunch of me. guys. I don't know what's don't really there. Don't sleep on Petco. I know he's a D-tackle, but don't sleep on Petco. I like Petco. Petco? Petco. You can well, sleep on Petco. What? What? Foil out for the game, coach. <laughs> he just did a hockey reference on a golf course. That's right. What, what, are, you do, what are you doing? Foil out for the game, coach. Who, you Triple H? What are you doing? Well, it's all about the game. Paul, Paul stroked one about 270 down the pipe. Solid shots. Am I in the bunker? I think it might have made it to the bunker. Let's find out, shall we? There's a Oh. 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 We're going to have to find out who drove. We need, Let's go. We need a ruling on Let's this. Let's go. We need a ruling on this. Oh. Oh. Yes, yeah, sir. There's one there. Now go He outdrove me, but he didn't know I just did. Woo. I used a half swing. All right. Okay. You got to get the pythons. Look at this. Woo! Let me get my thumb on that. My thumb covered Woo! up your python. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. You know what's great about this, Mark? What's great about this is the fact that you are going to have to cut about a thousand one and a half minute videos into these episodes. 